Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be talking about whether or not you should pull for the Raiden Shogun on her rerun. Now, I need to make this clear before I start the video. The Raiden Shogun is an extremely good character right now. Looking back at the days when she first came out, it is only today that we realize how wrong everyone was. First off, we need to do a rundown on what she can do. She can be a battery, she can be a sub DPS, she can be your main damage dealer. She can increase the burst damage of your teammates. She can also apply electro consistently. All of this is great and all, but we got to look at this from a lot of perspectives. What if you are in the dilemma between pulling for her or Yaimiko? Well, from a meta perspective, this is like comparing a Giga Chat to a Weibo. Raiden will win over Yaimiko any day of the week, regardless of what the situation is. But if you were to compare her from a waifu pr perspective, then that would be tough because the most appropriate decision would be to go for both as a lot of doujinshis feature them both. A better comparison for Raiden Shogun would be to compare her with Kazuha, as Kazuha can also bring a lot of value to your team to give you a rundown, Kazuha is also a god tier unit that can support just about everything that your team needs. Kazuha from a meta perspective can reduce your enemy's resistances, buff your teammates elemental damage, providing crowd control so that they can easier be hit. He can also be a battery to a certain extent. In the overworld, Kazuha can allow you to travel with more convenience, even make you last longer. In running, Kazuha really excels in so many areas as a support that we might as well pull for him right when his banner drops. He is an insanely valuable asset to have in your team so I would suggest pulling for Kazuha rather than for A. Now due to some vivid dreams that I, that I have been getting, Kazuha is probably be going to be getting a rerun in update 2.6. And it is probably going to be after Ayato's banner. So after the Raiden rerun, you might still need around 6 weeks left to try and get Kazuha. Which to some sources, you might be able to master around 10,000 Primo gems before the end of the banner. So if you have around 10k Primos as of now, you might be able to get both the Raiden Shogun and Kazuha. But if you have only a low amount of Primo gems, let's say most typically 1, then you might want to think about how long you have to wait before the next rerun of Kazuha or Raiden. As we all know, MiHoYo, or so I say Hoyoverse, tends to rerun the Archons much more often as they are always included in a story every 3 or 4 patches. <coughs> Venti. <coughs> An example of this is probably Zhongli, as he has now been rerun 3 times already. Another example would probably be child but we don't talk about him here. If you go by this logic, you might not be able to see Kazuha in a long time after you miss his rerun. So it is totally advised for you to not skip his banner. Now let's talk about Ayato. As we all have known, Hoyoverse has decided to leak about Ayato once upon a time ago. Story time, there was this one time when I was walking down a dark alleyway, going back from work. You know, to feed my family and stuff, suddenly a suspicious guy decided to come over to me. At first I kinda panicked, not gonna lie but as he drew closer, I realized he was mumbling something. Me being the brave man that I am, decided to walk up to him as he whispered. Ayato is going to be cracked. According to that man, Ayato seems to be the character that is probably going to be the best DPS in the game when update 2.6 drops. Though it is quite debatable on that point, the fact still remains that a lot of people may still want to get Ayato. If that is your dilemma, then I advise for you to wait until the announcement of Ayato's banner. Remember that a lot of things can change from that time onward. But if he does turns out to be cracked, then you don't really need to worry about, I mean you don't really need to worry as there will be reruns coming for him in the future. Or you can just take your dad's credit card. So as of now, as what we have discussed, this is, this is the pr 
priority of pulling characters that you might want to follow. First off, Kazuha, Raiden, Ayato, Yei, and Kokomi is just the last. I I don't know who who wants her. I mean, none of my friends really want her. But if you want her, hey, you do you, man. Anyways, I guess that is the video. If you liked it, please go and smash that like button and please subscribe. It does helps me a lot. And who knows, you might get lucky with, with your summons after this. Anyways, thanks for watching.